Good morning, church. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's ready for the weekend. Isn't it uh, wonderful that today is Friday? We're all looking forward to the weekend and all the things that we're going to be doing. Except every day feels the same and we always do the same thing and we're stuck in a rut and a routine. Well, today I want to give you some encouragement and I want to uh, challenge us to think about things in a different way and to look and really see where God is working and moving. I want to take you to Isaiah 43. We're going to be in verses 16 to 19. And what Isaiah writes, he says, This is what the Lord says, Who makes a way in the sea and a path through raging water, who brings out the chariot and horse, the army and the mighty one together. They lie down, they do not rise again, they are extinguished, put out like a wick. Do not remember the past events, pay no attention to the things of old. Look, I'm about to do something new. Even now, it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, he says, do not remember the past events. And we need to remember that. Don't, don't remember the past events. In meaning, don't look for God to do the same exact things that he's done before in the exact same way because God may be doing something new and the caution is is don't miss it because even now it is coming you see Israel was currently mired in the desperate circumstances of captivity and exile the things of old that he referred to is verses 16 and 17 the exodus the crossing the Red Sea the great deliverance of Israel and what he says is even something as great and as wonderful as that should be forgettable compared to what God wants to do and what God is going to do. What we need to remember from the past events is not so much how God acted and look for him to do the exact same thing, but to remember that God did act, that God did do something, that God is always active, God is always moving, and he's always taking us with him when we're faithful to him. We need to use the things of the past to remember that God is faithful, good, just, and trustworthy. Being stuck in the past will keep us from the new thing that God wants to do though. You see, there's a, both a caution and a balance when it comes to the new things that God wants to do. Because the first is a caution. Don't make an idol out of new things. In Acts 17, 21, the people of Athens had made an idol out of the new. It says that they spent all their time in nothing else, but either to tell or to hear something new. But we can go to the other side of the extreme as well. And we would actually be working against the thing that God wants to do because we're so stuck in the past. And so God is talking about bringing his people out of captivity and out of exile. He says, I'll make a way in the wilderness, a road through the desert. And he's saying, don't get stuck in worrying about the details. Rivers in the desert means that God will meet their true needs in a time and in a place where the world will meet their need with scarcity. But God will be there to meet them in their need. And it speaks also of his provision, his provision in a difficult time, and again in a time of scarcity that God will provide. We have no need to worry about the details because God will provide. He says, I'm about to do something new, says the Lord. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? My encouragement to us is not to look at what God has done before and expect him to do the same and to act in the same way. Perhaps God is asking us to embrace what new thing he's doing now. Look for that new thing. And God says, do you not see it? Because if we're staying in step with his spirit, more often than not, we'll know what that new thing is that he's doing because he shares it with us. Jesus himself said that, I, I call you friends because friends know what the master is doing. 
Be on the lookout for what God is doing new. What new thing in your life is he doing right now in this time that he couldn't do before? That he couldn't do in the old days before? And as you look for that, my encouragement is this. Be ready to walk in it, not worrying about the details because he has taken care of all of it. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this time. Be in the Lord and look for the new thing that he's doing. God bless you, church.